Have you seen people taking it uh, too far in Kotlin? Because I know uh, with functional programming in general, sometimes you get people who use a lambda for everything and stop using loops as a point of principle, and the the code gets very small and very bitsy. Or you know, everything's done in one line. It's just that line is five thousand characters long. So uh, have you come across anybody taking it too far? Um, yeah, I think there's always. Um, sometimes you take it too far. Um, but I think the most important thing is just to focus on writing good code, mm -hmm. um, good quality code and good tests. And if you focus on that, I think it naturally has you um, break up your functions and not have one really long chain. Um, but I think as like everyone on this call is learning about this now. So if you see someone doing that, um, Definitely, you know, leave comments on code reviews, help people learn. Some people do that when they're first starting to learn functional programming because they get really excited that they can chain everything together mm -hmm. um, and the functions become really big or or too small, I have mm -hmm. seen. Um, so I think just focusing on writing good code. Um, I like to think of writing my code like I can read it like English. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you're kind of going approaching it that way, then it, it's a lot easier to know. Um, if you can't understand what you just wrote, then you probably should edit it more. Absolutely. Yeah, and to add to that, um, some of the arrow concepts that like we love so much might have a little bit of a learning curve for people to understand. Um, so that's really important to make sure everyone on your team kind of knows what's going on with this type. Um, so you really have to like make sure everyone learns it before you you know, throw it into the code and then people get nervous to touch it. Uh, so I think sharing that knowledge among everyone mm -hmm. makes it you know less scary and everyone knows um, how to operate on it. Uh, so that's, that's a really important thing because you've seen people get really excited about like these different types and different features in Arrow, but not necessarily teach other people about it. And then it's, it's kind of like an elephant in the room of like, yeah. what is this? But yeah, just kind of sharing the knowledge is really important as well.